Hello everyone, a Looney here again, and uh, I guess this is a bit of a part two to the winterizing um, subject anyways. Well, anyways, uh, what is a block heater and how do you test it? Well, a little bit about block heaters. Uh, let's have a look at it on my old Dodge here. <music> So up here in this part of Canada where I live, it gets uh, regularly be below minus 30 Celsius, which is actually quite close to minus 30 Fahrenheit. So when it gets that cold, it's all about the same. So you'll see a lot of these plugs hanging out of uh, cars in various locations, either under the hood, through the grill, maybe underneath. And what is this? Well, this plugs into a heater that is attached to the block of the vehicle and we're going to lift this up we're not probably not going to be able to see see actually on this vehicle but if you follow the cord it goes down there and goes down somewhere beneath the vehicle and uh yeah i can't you can't really see it here it's usually right there's usually a frost plug what they call a frost plug on a vehicle and actually you pop that out and you put in this heater and uh, if I can find one I'll have it uh, a picture of one posted on my thumbnail so you can kind of see what it looks like but um, yeah you plug these in uh, in the winter and it actually uh, heats the antifreeze or coolant in the engine block to help it start when it's really cold outside so let's go see what we're going to need for this all right so we've come back to the handy dandy multimeter and um, the particular setting that we're going to be paying attention to is this one here on the dial which is uh, an ohm meter which uh, what does that mean or stand for i don't know but i know what it does and what it does is when you touch or when you have continuity as in a flow of electricity from one, from positive to negative, it will give an audible sound. And so that is what we're going to need to test um, the block heater because what we want is to know that if we plug it in, we're going to have current going from the positive side of the plug pin to the negative side running through that heating element and heating up the um the block so let's go test it out all right so here we got uh the plug end now this also kind of tests to see whether um you're going to need a new plug or a plug end or cord because um if this fails you know there's probably a break in the wall. these things take a lot of abuse hanging outside the car getting plugged in and out every day so um, it could be the plug that is bad so it's an easy way to test the plug also and then if you know the plug's good or if you work your way back and you can't find but anyways here it, it actually doesn't matter which one you attach to because we're just looking for a circuit going all the way back to there and all the way come back and we're just going to listen for an audible beep sound hopefully you can hear that and there we go we hear the annoying beep sound. Now, if you don't, if you don't get, you know, you might want to clean off this because these things get quite dirty too. So, but we have a good connection there. So that's a-okay, good to go. So we have actually one more to test and this one actually lives under here, under the front bumper on my CRV. So it takes a lot more abuse. So let's, uh, let's have a, Let's have a listen to see if, we, uh, if we're gonna need to do something with this one. And we get the beautiful, annoying beeping sound. So this one's good to go for winter too. Yeah, it's ugly, but uh, it works. So there you go. That's uh, how I test my, uh, well, usually it's the, it's the plugs or the cords that uh, get damaged and uh, need uh, changing but it is a good way to know whether or not your block heater is working and that's really important when it's minus 40 outside and you go and try and start your car and it doesn't start so that's a big problem really you would i'm sure you can imagine but anyways thanks for watching and uh 
hope this helps some of you out. Anyways, before I go, remember, do what you love and love what you do. Till next time, bye for now.